Darby Allen is definitely an interesting individual, and many people want to know more about him. The problem is that there's not a lot of information about the former TNT champion. But we did some serious digging and found some awesome facts. So let's dive straight into number 10. His tattoos say a lot about him. Tattoos are commonly seen in the pro wrestling business today, and many people use them for expressing themselves. The same goes for Darby, as almost everything on his skin has a special meaning. For example, the letters on his fingers spell drug free, and this is exactly how Allen lives his life, straight edge. What led to his decision was seeing a lot of his friends letting alcohol and drugs destroy their dreams. Another tattoo of his says, nothing's over till you're underground, which represents his unwillingness to give up no matter how high the odds are stacked against him. He also has the word champ tattooed on the inside of his lower lip, which looks like it hurt a lot. Or maybe I'm just afraid of tattoos. Number 9. His career before becoming a pro wrestler. When you hear the name Darby Allen, you immediately think of something else other than pro wrestling. And that's skateboarding, right? Well, Darby did not start skateboarding just as a pro wrestling gimmick. He was actually a pro skater back in the day. When Chris Jericho learned about this, he had a light bulb moment and suggested that Darby bring his skateboarding talent to the pro wrestling ring, an idea that has proved genius as it has provided us with many memorable stunts. On the other hand, I almost broke my back when I tried skateboarding. Anyway, let's jump into number 8. His appearance on television shows. ENT isn't the only network Alan has appeared on. He has made a few other TV appearances, including one on MTV's Ridiculousness and TLC's Sex Sent Me to the ER, a show that features some really strange things, and I mean really strange. Alan later confessed that his story featured on the show was not real, but completely fabricated and that he did it all for the money. If anyone has seen this particular episode, comment below your thoughts on it. I'm really curious. Number 7. His Rare Being the Elite Appearances BTE is a great opportunity for AEW stars to connect with the fans even more, and it definitely has done wonders for many people, especially those who don't get much TV time. So, everyone should grab the chance to appear constantly on BTE, right? Well, not everyone. It's better for some wrestlers to keep their appearances to a minimum, so that they maintain their mystique. And that's the case for wrestlers like John Moxley and Darby Allin, who rarely appear on BTE. Even though I don't know for sure if that's the reason, we don't see them often on the show. I think it's definitely better for those darker stars to stay away from the lights and camera. With that being said, we have a rare Darby Allin appearance on BTE at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Bonus fact, his old ring name used to be Darby Graves. I don't know about you, but I think I like this even more, since Darby's persona is a very dark one. Number 6. He likes turtles. The most viral Darby Allen meme has to be the one that compared him to the I like turtles kid, implying that the kid is Darby. Most people took it as a joke, but some believed it to be fact and the same confusion happened with the You Are My Sunshine Kid and MJF. So let's clear up the air. The kid that appeared on the Rosie O'Donnell show is indeed MJF. The I Like Turtles kid is not Darby Allen, even though they look alike. Kind of. However, that kid grew up and he looks nothing like Darby as an adult. Number 5. He was a married man. Darby was married to Priscilla Kelly, or as she's known currently in NXT, Gigi Dolan. They met during their indie days and they worked some shows as a team. They even worked for AEW simultaneously for a brief period of time, back when Priscilla faced Britt Baker at the Jericho Cruise. The couple tied the knot in 2018 and divorced in 2020. I don't want to get into too much gossip here, but they seemed like a perfect fit, from an outsider's point of view at least. They seemed to be on good terms, as Gigi celebrated her ex-husband's TNT title win with an Instagram post back in the day. Number 4. 
He's praised by big names. Many fans have compared Darby to Jeff Hardy, and they're not the only ones. Jeff himself has said that he sees many similarities and is honored to be compared to Darby. It definitely feels good when you are compared to someone as talented as Jeff, and even his brother Matt has talked about this. Not the exact same way, though. That's true. Yeah, that's a lot true. of people have told me Darby Allen reminds him of my brother. I heard that. And, and, I, and I get that, but that little son of a bitch, he tried to embarrass you. Yeah. He better watch his step. He should. Yeah. Or I'll take his TNT championship from him. I mean, hey, it would look pretty well that way. I'm just has. saying. I'm just saying. Look at Number three. He was homeless. If you think that Darby's look and in-ring style are extreme, wait until you hear about his real-life situation. In an interview with Chris Van Vliet, Darby revealed that he used to be homeless and cook raw shrimp with a hairdryer. Allen is a very unconventional dude, and he told Chris that he would rather be homeless than work a 9-to-5 job. I mean, I'm kind of pursuing my dreams too with the YouTube channel and all, but Darby took it to a whole other level. Honestly, big respect for Darby, who sacrificed almost everything in order to pursue his passion. Bonus story from the same interview, Darby described how cool it felt to be in the position he is now, while remembering that a few years back, they, Priscilla and Darby, didn't have the money to even repair Priscilla's glasses. Number 2. NFL A lot of professional wrestlers used to be NFL players before making the transition, such as Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. And even though Allen wasn't one of them, he has some ties to the organization as his grandpa was a NFL player. Before we jump into number one, remember that there's a bonus BTE scene at the end of this video. So watch until the very end. Number one, he was involved in a bad car wreck. When he was just five years old, Darby was involved in a horrific car accident that took his uncle's life. This tragic incident, along with some other unfortunate things that he witnessed during his life, formed Darby's identity and they're the reason for his face paint. Allen has stated that he feels 50% dead inside, and this is the reason for his ghost-like paint. I don't want to end this in a negative tone, so here's the bonus scene from Being the Elite. All right, get on out of here, brother. Darby! Oh, hi, buddy! Darby, the Darbster! Darbarino, how's it going, ma'am? Uh, I, oh, real quick, I just wanted to tell you something. Um, you are a really good friend, and I don't know if I've ever told you that, but I just wanted to tell you from a uh, future AEW superstar to a potential future AEW superstar, I just want to give you a hug. Right here. Oh, that is intense. You know, I actually have to go to the bath. No. Why don't I join you? I, it's, I insist. It's gonna just smell real bad, Darby, so it was great seeing you, buddy. 